Arthur Cemetery hidden away in a section of Manassas, Virginia, where the roads are coming together. And this is kind of in the median, almost between them. Hidden away, can't really get to it. We have what looks like a family plot here. Let's see. J. Willard Green, July 4th, 1880, September 14th, 18, 1950, sorry. Let's see if I can even get to that one back there. Yeah, I guess I can. Oh, what do we got? Belinda Hazen. Hey, Hazen, that name again from the other one. Uh... Born December 28, 1828, and died May 6, 1902, at rest. Hazen down there at the bottom. So, definitely has some stones that are forgotten back in here. And if I can do a little bit to make sure that they're not actually forgotten, then that would be great. Catherine Merritt, born, eight, born August 28, 1829 died January 7, 1907. Oliver Merritt, born August 9, 1846, and died September 8, 1909. So, I'm going to make this a quick one because where my car is, I don't want it to get it towed. Matilda Mitchell, September 9, 1847, and died March 11, 1927. Memory of Catherine, beloved wife of John Hornbaker, born May 4th, 1798, and died March 4th, 1881. Wow. Sacred to the memory of John Hornbaker, who died... Now it looks like 1855, age 69 years... Seven months, 29 days. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Some that have fallen over. What do we have here? Henry Mitchell, born February 21, 1856, and died September 20th, 1892. George Mitchell, July 23rd, 1823. Died November 30th, 1885. Elizabeth B., wife of George Mitchell, born September 4th, 1826, died April 7, 1876. Oh, look at this one. Jacob Bodine, born March 22nd, 1849, died August 5th, 1850, so a little over a year old. Above it says, born December 7, 1846, died October 7, 1861, that looks like. Theodore Bodine. So apparently there are two very young children here. What's going on? This says, mother. Lara Ada McLaren, October 16, 1885, October 17, 1885. 1941, so died during World War II. WMF Bodine, 1852 to 1894, and Mary Edna, his wife, 1852 to 1923. Depew, Jacob Depew, born July 19, 1888, and died April 28, 1880s. I can't be right. Am I misreading that? 1888 died April 28, 1889, that looks like. I'm not sure. It's very hard to read. Sarah DePew, born August 25th, 1845, and died October 22nd, 1909. In loving memory of Margaret Gleason, beloved wife of A.W. Clare, August 25th, 1900, to June 2nd, 1939. Bessie Allen, wife of Joel Boone, 
1855 to 1900. So we've got some stones kind of spread all over the place here. Let's take a walk this way. I knew this place was back here, but I wasn't, I didn't realize it was quite as big as it is. Harvey Gordon, son of W.B. and can't read the next name, Baker. And the years are kind of smeared out, can't even read the years. This one back here looks kind of especially old. Let's take a look, or at least home carved. Geneva Fenton Griffith. November 15, 1855 to December 10, 1916. So it's not as old as I thought it was. Eugenia Francis Griffith. September 7, 1915 to September 12, 1915. So only lived five days. Five days. Wow. All right. I think... I think that covers it up in here. So again, the Boy Scouts were in here a few years ago and did kind of a cleanup. And but this one definitely is off the beaten path. You wouldn't even know it was in here if you didn't know it was in here. I just happen to have grown up in the Manassas, Virginia area. And I, I, I remember when this place was actually reachable by just walking in but no longer. The roads and the construction have completely closed it off from the public. So this is the Bradley Cemetery. And uh, y'all have a good day. See you later.